Augusta traffic, Cessna 757 uniform Tango is turning final to full stop runway 36, Augusta. Augusta 757 uniform Tango. Hudson Tower runway 1 tree cleared for the option. What's happening, YouTubers and pilots? Jedi82 here, the Aero Nerd. I want to thank all you subscribers for subscribing to my channel. You have actually given me more motivation to make more videos. Uh, speaking of, the last video that I've posted was my check ride, which is what you're watching right now. You can go ahead and click that link at the top if you're interested in seeing it, if you haven't seen it already. For those who have seen it and have some questions, hopefully this video will be able to fill in some blanks, as well as giving you some tips in what to do, what not to do, uh, what to buy, what not to buy. And I'll be showing some really good, useful websites that you student pilots should be aware of, as well as some books that will help you pass your written exam. I'll show you exactly what I have in my flight bag, as well as all my other secrets that help me pass my written, oral, and check ride. So without any further ado, let's get off the ground here and uh, let's get this thing started. So that is my infamous flight bag. <laughs> it's not really a flight bag, it's just a regular backpack. Uh, but this is everything that helped me in my transition from a student pilot to a private pilot. Now a lot of this may look intimidating. I know there's a lot of books and there's a lot of other stuff that you see here. Now some of this stuff is necessary, some of it's not necessary, but this is what helped me through all of my studies as a student pilot. So if you look a little closer here you'll see your, your little uh, chart supplement you really won't need that if you have four flight so uh, next is the oral exam guide I got two of them because I didn't know which one to get I was like well if one book has something the other doesn't and I'd be better off just getting both so I read both of those and my oral exam was a breeze they have almost every single question that the examiner can possibly ask you with the answers to those questions in there. So it's like an open book test. To the left of that is my flight physical. You're definitely going to need one of those. Those are going to be good for five years. Uh, on the left of that is the E6B that took me about five years to learn. <laughs> Just kidding. There's truth to every joke, right? Uh, motion sickness bags for passengers if you uh, or for yourself if you feel a little, a little bit nauseous if you first start to fly. There's no shame if you do feel a little bit nauseous on your first couple hours of flying. Uh, you gotta have your your knee board. Well, not really knee board, but pilot log. Definitely gonna need one of those. This is your ACS. Uh, it's the pretty much open book test when you're doing your check ride. All the stuff that you should be aware of. Your POHs. You definitely need to be aware of those. The FAR AIM. The book of all the FAA regulations and more. Of course, you're gonna need your sectional to know where you're going. If you don't have four flight, you should have a sectional anyway, just for backup. Now, this is the most important investment. I think uh, your headsets. This is something that you should do a lot of research on because these do cost a lot of money. My first to the left is my David Clarks, and to the right is my new uh, A20s, my Bose, and they work like a dream. Now this next thing right here is kind of like going above and beyond, but this is for my check ride. Uh, this right here is my IACRA, which I'll show you on the website here in a little bit. But I have all my driver's license, my birth certificate, a copy of all my uh, the records for the planes, uh, weight and balance, and everything all in one convenient folder. So if he has any questions, it's everything's right there in the folder at his disposal. Now I'm going to go to the far aim really quick to give you a really good tip, which is to put tabs in this book. Uh, if they ask you questions that you need to look in this book to refer to, which you're 100% okay to do, uh, you won't be sifting through 1,100 pages of regulations to find the answer of a question that you've just been asked. So yeah. Tab your pages. <laughs> Highlighters also work wonders too in this case. YouTube really helped me uh, to understand the E6B. There's many YouTube videos out there. Again, do your research and anything you don't understand, just, <laughs> just pop YouTube open or the internet, Google. And while you're at it, you might as well take a visit to the Integrated Airman Certification and Rating Application, or IACRA for short. Through this website is actually where you get your official pilot certifications, whether it be a student pilot or a certified private pilot. Another website that I think you should be very familiar with is this King School's FAA private pilot test website. This has almost every single question that will be on your written exam. Some of them are even word for word. Um, so the FAA written exam is probably pulled out of a pool of maybe 600, 700, 800 questions. The length of the test is normally 60 
questions so you can actually test yourself by clicking all of them or choosing any one that you really want to work on or category and you just take the test uh, it's timed for you and and gives you your score got the the images directly from the test uh, the real test and everything so this is really 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 um, useful and it'll save you a lot of money too I was talking to a student pilot the other day and he said that he paid like three or four hundred dollars for like a sporties um, written test helper program or something like that and I was like no I was like dude I, you got, I got this website that you can go to and it's completely free um, and it tells you all the correct answers and everything and I'm telling you word for word so I can't stress that enough on how that helped me a lot by taking those practice tests on that website so those are the tips and tricks that helped me uh, transition from student pilot to private pilot if you have any suggestions questions comments or concerns just put them in the comments below and until next time fly safe guys see you